to the Royal Daily Tea YouTube channel. Please be advised all of my videos are for entertainment purposes only, based 100% on my own opinion, my own theories, and my own research. All of my information can be found on the public domain and falls under the fair use guidelines. Please feel free to do your own research. Good afternoon and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. So could Harry and Meghan be helping the royal family to become obsolete and extinct? We all know that the royal family is very popular and it's centered mostly around Her Majesty the Queen. In my opinion, she is the glue that is holding the family together. She is a favorite and she is a national hero and icon to many, many people in the United Kingdom and beyond. You know, next year she will celebrate her Platinum Jubilee, which is the 70th year that she has been on the throne. But in recent years, due to Harry and Meghan, the popularity of the royal family is starting to take a nosedive. It started with Harry and Meghan back in March when they appeared on the infamous Oprah Winfrey interview slamming and accusing the royal family of racism. Well, as we know, we're living in a cancel culture society. A lot of young people, they're not afraid to topple statues, burn buildings down. They will erase history with not a blink of an eyelash. They're all about the moment and the future. And as we know, a lot of the sugars out there, the fans of Harry and Meghan tend to be the younger generation where they just hear buzzwords and they come to be social justices and warriors and will burn everything down. The recent uh, finding of indigenous children, unfortunately, that were buried in these reform schools throughout Canada was a horrible situation. The royal family, in my opinion, did not handle that correctly. They did not speak out against these horrific acts. A lot of people are tired of them not speaking out. So as you know, on Canada Day, two statues, one a Queen Victoria and one a Queen Elizabeth were torn down. The crowd is angry and they want blood. There was the story of college students who removed a painting of Queen Elizabeth from their common areas because they felt she represents colonization. So again, racism, colonization, not speaking out against the horrific acts of the indigenous children, and now Harry and Meghan slamming the royal family. The royal family is starting to take a lot of digs and receive a lot of hate. I feel that after Her Majesty the Queen passes away, the popularity of the royal family is going to tank. Not even the Cambridges right now could save the royal family. Kate and William are receiving an immense amount of backlash and hate thanks to Harry and Meghan. We had the story of the making, you know, poor little Meghan cry, where now people think that Kate's this horrible, mean person. They even have that one story of Priyanka Chopra snubbing the royal couple at Wimbledon to the delight and cheer of several people who thought this was a wonderful thing, that she was rude and disrespectful. Again, a lot of people love this cancel culture. They were even bullying poor little Prince George, who is eight years old. So the Cambridges are getting their share of negativity. People are pushing back. They have had to up Kate's security because after the Oprah Winfrey interview, she has received thousands of threats. So Meghan and Harry are putting the royal family in personal danger. They are having people change their opinion of the royal family, putting their family in danger of getting threats. And now they're coming out with even more ammunition to use against the royal family. Now, as we all know, Prince Charles is next in line to the throne, but he's not popular. Charles knows he is not well liked. His wife, Camilla, is liked even less. Even though people have gotten used to them, they're still not exactly the most popular royals. 
A lot of people feel he should abdicate and give the throne to William and Kate. I feel this would be a positive step, but even the Cambridges are receiving a lot of negativity. Prince Charles, for the past 10 plus years, has really been streamlining and cutting back the royal family because he knows when he becomes king, the popularity and the need for the royal family actually is going to decrease by 50%. Again, you know, the queen is an icon. She's the longest ruling really monarch in history. But after she passes away, it's just going to be Charles and Camilla. They're in their 70s, and a lot of people don't like them. So the longevity of them, it, honestly, it's going to take a nosedive. So Charles knows all of this. So he has, for the past 10 years, been cutting back on the royal expenses, cutting and streamlining the size of the royal family because he knows that people are tired of supporting them and of the elite. So Charles is very smart in the fact that he's being very frugal and very vigilant in trying to preserve the royal family. I personally am thinking that the royal family could end in the next 50 years. I personally believe that Prince George or even Prince William could be the last King of England. Do we see another hundred years of the British royal family? I'm not sure that's going to happen. We're moving into a different type of society. Things are coming more expensive. The need for, you know, to support royal families and royal houses is diminishing. Many, many royal families and houses throughout history and Europe are completely done. There's like 12 royal houses left of Europe. Very, very few are left in the world. What is your opinion? Do you think the royal family is going to sustain and last for another one, 200 years? Or do you think the royal family could possibly end with Prince William? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe because it really helps me out. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, and once I do, there will be a large giveaway. Make sure you follow me on TikTok and Instagram. I update there daily. And yes, I still am working on the royalty website. I'm hoping to have this released in early August, so stay tuned for updates. Thanks for stopping by the channel. I appreciate you, and have an awesome day.